Hey guys, this is Claudia from QuickBooks Experts and today we're going to talk about bank transactions and how to get them to be accepted in QuickBooks. When you have uh, banking your bank link to QuickBooks online, the transactions will flow directly from your bank to QuickBooks. It is awesome because you don't have to manually enter them. Uh, but you still have, that doesn't mean that it's already categorized you still have to categorize them and add you to the books so if you see like hundreds and hundreds of transactions but you run your report and there's nothing in there it's because it's all sitting in banking and you got to categorize them but quickbooks has several features that will make your life a lot easier we're going to go through some of them right now all right so first of all uh, if I see uh, QuickBooks is going to try to categorize transactions according to what happened in the past. Uh, and sometimes it's, it's not going to know. So you're just going to have to do it yourself, right? So uh, USPS, for instance, one, the first thing I want to add is the vendor. Okay. And we know that this type of expense is shipping expense. And... Shipping and delivery. And after I put the vendor, after I categorize here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on add. And I added this transaction, right? That's great. Awesome. All the details of this transaction is going to be there. But I'm, I'm going to show something that is even more useful. Now, let's suppose I have several transactions um, that is, is supposed to be categorized the same way. So let's look for one of them. Um, okay, we're going to go to the second page. Okay, there you go. Oh, this transaction is supposed to be the same. So what I'm going to do is select all of them and click on update. This is going to be an expense and it's all going to be dollar tree right here and all this is going to be job supply job materials apply and accept and voila all those transactions are going to show up the same it's going to ask me if i want to create a rule we're going to talk about rules in just a moment. I can create a rule, but at this time I choose not to. And rules um, can be created for transactions that you know is going to be the same over and over and over again. So one example, let's, uh, let's take a look at, at this transaction here with Walmart. Um, according to this vendor, this kind of transactions from Walmart will always go to personal account. So I can go ahead and click on Walmart. I can go ahead and create a rule here. I'm gonna name it Walmart. Oh, I can spell. And in QuickBooks, it allows you to auto add those transactions. So every time it contains uh, it contains Walmart, uh, it will automatically add, but I prefer not to. The reason why is that sometimes, let's suppose that, you know, decided to actually buy some office supply or whatever it is, and then it will automatically add to a different account and I have no control over it. If I uh, turn off the auto add, I'll be able to take a look at it before I actually accept. And I can do a batch selection and accept all of, the, all of them at the same time. So I like it better like that. So we'll go ahead and save this rule. And then I can go ahead and just add that, just like that. And I can choose multiple transactions uh, that has the rule and accept them all at the same time. Okay, now the next Next thing I'd like to talk about is uh, split, split transactions. Um, and let's suppose that here on this transaction, half of it is personal, half of it is business. So I can go ahead and categorize as split. We'll go ahead and select the pay taxes. Uh, 
I have here, but I just want to add without the specific store. I just want to just that. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And let's suppose that, um, let's see, $50 is going to be meals. And the remaining balance is going to be personal. So I'm going to go ahead and select personal expense. And then here it shows me the difference. See? So I can just add $66 and then apply and accept. But in this case, it's, it's not. So <laughs> everything should be meals. So I would do Texas Roadhouse and then add... Um, this feature is very useful, especially if you have like um, a payment to a loan where you have half of it is not half of it, but some part is principal, some part is interest expense. So you would just click on split and then you can uh, categorize part of it to go towards your liability and part of it to go towards um, interest expense. So great feature. Um, and you can do that over and over again. So it's, it's great. So I really like QuickBooks Online because it has uh, so many features to make your life easier. And if you know how to use them, um, you'll be able to spend more time doing those things that you like most and making money instead of trying to figure out how to add one item at a time. Uh, if you like what to see today, click on subscribe right below. Like the video so that we can bring more videos like that. If you have a question you'd like me to answer through a video, uh, go ahead and write on the notes right down below what you'd like to see and we'll, we'll go ahead and record that for you in the near future. Until next time, I'll see you later.